Today we're going to take a look at the Adobe Sign integration with LaserFiche. This integration utilizes a business process that is downloadable from the business process library. If you're a user, you'll need to have administrative access to those functions within LaserFiche Forms, and you'll also need to have LaserFiche Forms. So let's take a look at the integration. We'll start by uploading one of our standardized templates that we've already configured within Adobe Sign. So this could be a sample image or a Word document or a PDF. So we'll upload that and we'll choose to have Adobe Sign templates used. This is different from just simply uploading it and placing the signature on the document manually. We'll show that a little bit later. We'll enter in the Adobe Sign template name. This could be auto-populated, drop-down list. You could have a lot of choices here. I'll also choose who I'd like to use for our email to the sender. If I send it via Adobe Sign, it's going to come from a different email address. If I send it from LaserFiche, it'll come from an email address associated with your firm. I can also choose to utilize the parameters for where to save the finalized document within LaserFish. I could choose to just leave that blank and it'll use a default address. Then also, I have the option of changing the Adobe Sign user or just leaving it default. I can also configure who I would like to receive a copy of this document for signature. So I'll assign that role here. We could have multiple people within a chain of signatures, as well as approvers. I'll click Submit here, and it'll show that the form has been submitted. And now it's been emailed for review. Here's a copy of that email. You can see it came from echosign.com. I'll click on the link. What's nice about this part of the integration is that because it was a template, it already knows where I need to sign this document. I'll click on the signature space and it'll use my standardized signature I have registered with Adobe Sign. Great, I've signed it and I'm all set. I can download a copy here of that document as well, but once it's completed, it saves that document to the LaserFiche repository. Let's take a look at it saved within our LaserFiche repository. You'll notice all the metadata that was captured on the right-hand side as well. So we have the date and time, the users. We also have that Adobe Sign Agreement ID way over there on the right-hand side. Now let's take a look at setting up the manual process with Adobe Sign. This would be if we want to assign a, a signature manually to the document. So I can configure who I would like to send this to and I can reorganize the email addresses, change the special message. I'll upload a copy of this document that I'd like to have signed. I can also drag and drop the signature onto the document as well as initials and date stamps. I'll click send. Great. This shows me that the document has been sent out for signature. Thank you for watching our demonstration of the LaserFiche integration with Adobe Sign. If you have further questions, please contact us on the web at www.cdi.support or email us sales at cdi.support.